Hi there. I guess you're here not because you want to watch me play the Rubik's Cube, but you want to learn how to identify the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons. If I'm right, well, I'm ready. If you're ready, let's begin. There are three important things that you must first learn in order to identify the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons of an atom. These three are the atomic number, the mass number, and if an atom is neutral or an ion. Today's video is all about neutral atoms. For ions, it will be on a separate video. So now, I will switch to my PowerPoint presentation to continue. The periodic table of the elements lists down all the elements present, including the information that we know about the elements as of today. The two features that we will be using are the atomic number written above the element and the mass number written under the element. So let's begin with the atomic number. What is an atomic number? An atomic number is the number of protons in an atom, which means that atomic number is equal to the number of protons. For example, lithium has an atomic number of 3. This means that the element lithium has three protons. Carbon has an atomic number of six, which means that carbon has six protons. Lastly, the element aluminum has an atomic number of 13. This means that the element aluminum has 13 protons. Now, if an atom is said to be neutral, it means that the number of protons and electrons are equal. Since the number of protons and electrons are equal, that means the charge is equal to zero. So let's take a look at the components of a neutral atom. Example, lithium has an atomic number of three. Again, this means that lithium has three protons. If lithium is a neutral atom, it also means that lithium has three electrons. If carbon is a neutral atom, it has six protons and six electrons. Aluminum with an atomic number of 13 if it's said to be neutral, it has 13 protons and 13 electrons. Now, mass number is the sum of protons and neutrons in an atom. Mathematically expressed as number of protons plus number of neutrons equals mass number. So basically, you just add the number of protons and the number of neutrons, you will get the mass number of an atom. Now, if, for example, you want to get the number of neutrons, you just simply do the following expression. Mass number minus number of protons equals the number of neutrons. Let's try this for our first example. The element beryllium has an atomic number of 4 and a mass number of 9. What if you want to know the number of neutrons of the element beryllium? So using the second formula, which is mass number minus number of protons equals the number of neutrons, we know that the mass number of beryllium is 9. Now since the atomic number is the same with the number of protons. This is expressed as 9 minus 4 is equal to 
5 neutrons. So beryllium has 5 neutrons. Next one. Fluorine has an atomic number of 9 and the mass number of 19. If you want to know the number of neutrons, use the formula mass number minus number of protons equals the number of neutrons. Since the mass number is 19 and the number of protons is the same with the atomic number, this is the same as 19 minus 9 is equal to 10 neutrons. Last one. The element phosphorus has an atomic number of 15 and a mass number of 31. Mass number minus the number of protons will give you the number of neutrons. Since phosphorus has a mass number of 31 and the atomic number is 15, which is the same with the number of protons, this is expressed as 31 minus 15 is equal to 16 neutrons. So let's try to use all the three information that we have to solve for the following set of questions. Now let us try answering these six questions. But before that, let us first recap the things that we have just learned, which are the atomic number is the same with the number of protons. The number of protons for a neutral atom is the same with the number of electrons. And mass number minus the number of protons is equal to the number of neutrons. Pause this video now and try answering the six questions. Then afterwards, continue the video to check if your answers are correct. We will assume that all the six examples are neutral atoms. Let's continue. For number 1, the atomic number is 7 and the mass number is 14. Since the atomic number is the same with the number of protons, the number of protons for number 1 is 7. And since the atoms are neutral, we know that the number of protons is the same with the number of electrons. Hence, the number of electrons for number 1 is 7. To get the number of neutrons, we just subtract the mass number 14 to the number of protons which is 7 which is equal to 7. For number 2 we have the atomic number 11 and the mass number 23. Since the atomic number is the same with the number of protons therefore for number 2 number of protons is equal to 11 and the number of electrons is also 11 since the atom is said to be neutral. To get the number of neutrons, mass number, which is 23, minus the number of protons, 11, will give us 12. For number 3, the mass number is 35 and the number of protons is 17. Again, the atomic number is the same with the number of protons. Therefore, for number 3, the atomic number is 17. The atom is said to be neutral. Therefore, the number of electrons is equal to 17. If we subtract the mass number 35 to the number of protons 17, we will get the number of neutrons, which is equal to 18. For number 4, the mass number is 40 and the number of electrons is 18. Since we said that the atom is neutral, therefore the number of electrons, which is 18, is the same with the number of protons, which is also 18. Now, since the atomic number is the same with the number of protons, therefore, the atomic number of number 4 is 18. For the number of neutrons, mass number 40 minus number of protons 18 is equal to 22. For number 5, the atomic number is 19 and the number of neutrons is 20. Since the atomic number is the same with the number of protons, therefore number 5 has 19 protons. And since the atom is said to be neutral, the number of electrons is equal to 19 also. 
Now, during the first part of this lesson, we have said that the mass number is defined as the sum of the number of protons and the number of neutrons. Therefore, for number 5, to get the mass number, we just simply need to add the number of protons, 19, and the number of neutrons, 20, which will give us 39. And last, for number 6, the given are the number of protons, 27, and the number of neutrons, 32. Since the atomic number is the same with the number of protons, therefore, if the number of protons for number 6 is 27, its atomic number is 27. And if the atom is said to be neutral, the number of electrons is the same with protons, which is 27. And lastly, to get the mass number, we just simply add the number of protons, 27, and the number of neutrons, 32. Therefore, the mass number is 59. I hope you were able to get all the answers correctly. And if you did, congratulations. If not, you may want to do some practice exercises because always remember, practice makes everything better. Thank you and peace out. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.